Okay, so I want to give a little um, revelation and or clarity or clarification in regards to the Old Testament and the New Testament in regards to the beginning um, and the end. All right. <laughs> um, so I want to talk about the Old Testament before the fall took place in the garden with Adam and Eve, right? So before sin came in the garden, right? It was heaven on earth, y'all. Everything was pure. Everything that God made was pure. It was for him. He made it into his likeness and his image. Heaven was on earth, right? And then in came the serpent, which deceived Eve and brought sin in, right? So that caused the fall of humanity, okay? So... A lot of sin entered, you know, a lot of death entered, okay? Death entered, all right? And so God said, well, I got to send a savior. I got to send my son to, 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 as a ransom to redeem humanity, to get rid of this sin. And so what happened is when he sent us Jesus, right? Since so many fell into flesh, they fell out of the spirit and they fell into flesh and sin and death, right? When God sent Jesus, he died on the cross for our sins, redeeming us from that law, from that flesh, right? And then giving us a choice, right? Placing us under grace, but giving us a choice. Whether we want to stay in the flesh, we want to stay dead, serving Satan in sin, or whether we want to receive that same life-giving spirit that resurrected Jesus on the third day, the Holy Ghost, and go to heaven. The Holy Ghost is the indescribable gift. It is the power of God, the sevenfold ministry of God. It is the Holy Spirit is who makes you immortal. Mekieti, my God, which allows you to have eternal life, which means you won't die. Okay. So, well, what happened in the beginning? We took the fall, right? So there was no more heaven on earth. Okay. But we getting back to that because that's God's will and purpose. We gonna get back to heaven on earth, love. Okay. Some of us are already walking. Some of us, we are heaven on earth. Okay? I know I am. If you got the Holy Spirit, you're heaven on earth, love. And we're getting back to it. Because the last enemy to be abolished is death. So, that takes us back to the New Testament. Where Jesus is the Savior, the Messiah. The one that you must go, go through and believe in in order to be saved. Okay? So God gave us free will. He gave us free will. So now you're going to choose whether or not you want to stay in sin or whether you want to receive life. Okay. Life or death. Which one do you want? So he put, he put the power of a choice in your hand. What will you decide? See, if you don't have the Holy Spirit, then you're not going to heaven. The last enemy to be abolished is death. The only way you're made alive, after what I just explained to you from the beginning, the only way you're resurrected is if you give up your flesh. If you give up the world, if you give up sin, that's the only way you can be resurrected in God's power and go to heaven. You dead right now if you in sin, love. Because see, humanity fell in the garden. See? God sent Jesus. He's here for you. But are you choosing life? 
When you choose life, then you got to give your body up. You got to do what Jesus did. You give up your body. You give up your life. You give up that body, which is a vessel, for God to put his spirit in it and have heaven on earth. That's all that's going to be here is Holy Ghost. <laughs> that's it. We going back to the beginning, y'all. The New Jerusalem is 144,000. It's nothing but Holy Spirit. It's nothing but heaven on earth. It's nothing but life. There will be no more death. There will be no more darkness. You better read your Bible. You better read your Bible. Revelation. The New Jerusalem. Read it. That's what we get into, love. So either you want life or you want death. Choose ye this day. Be blessed.